All right, orders just came in. Lots of wholesale, uh, FedEx, UPS, online arbitrage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we're going to go into the warehouse, but what's interesting is that this box is actually the most expensive box out of, I think I have 15 in my car right now. That's the most expensive one. And I'm going to show you why when we get into my warehouse. One of the reasons I'm buying so many video games, and these are all from online marketplaces, with the exception of like two purchases, uh, is of because of a conversation I had with a mid seven figure Amazon video game electronic seller on Amazon. Uh, and it's not just him, he has a business. But he's saying that they buy almost everything off of eBay and Facebook Marketplace. And actually, I sell to him. I've sold to them on eBay. I'll give you an example. I just sold the game yesterday. Um, Xbox, Indiana Jones, and the Emperor's Tomb uh, with the manual. And this is how I think I know what they're doing. So I sold it for $12.95. Historically, it's been around like $10, a little bit less than that on eBay. Uh, but when I saw the name go through and the address go through and I recognized it, I went to the Amazon page and the used FBA price is $89 because the new FBA price is $115. The lowest merchant fulfilled price is $9. So I don't know what that means to them. But to me, that means that they either have a program that goes through and checks for price discrepancies between uh, Amazon and eBay or shows rapid movements uh, on ASINs because I scanned that game on Amazon when I listed it. It was not at 90 bucks uh, lowest FBA price. It just wasn't. So there's something they're, they're doing that lets them know what to buy. Uh, but there's, you know, I, I would I'd estimate that the margin is probably between 40 and 80% profit on most of these purchases. So it becomes like, okay, how much money can I spend a month? Uh, and how fast can I sell the things that I know are not worth going into? So we're going to open these up, but you don't care about the games. They're just games. What you do care about is, I put it somewhere, that little tiny box. Yeah, this one right here. And why this is actually worth, uh, well, when it's all said and done, over $1,000. Here's why it's worth so much. I paid, with shipping, about 800 bucks. It weighs about three and a quarter pounds. And it's all jewelry, tested sterling silver. That's gold, a gold wash. It's not actual gold. Uh, and what I saw in here that I like, this was an, um, an online auction that I won, was a few items that I want to show you if I can find them right away without, they're filthy right now. It's kind of the name of the game. Uh, where are they? Should be easy to find. Because they're hearts. They're uh, Tiffany hearts. Man, if they, if they pull them out, I'd be mad. I don't think they would do that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna find them. I found it, it's right here. Uh, I bought this at about 100 bucks less than scrap price, knowing that like right here, that's weighted sterling silver. There's a little bit of cement still in there. So that is, I paid about, I don't know, 66 cents a gram for concrete, which is not good, but this is the stuff that I want. So what I'm going to do is go through and pick out anything that's designer like Tiffany uh, or has a maker's mark. This has all been tested or has been marked. Like this one says, uh, Como maybe. Oh, that's cool. So we're going to go through and pick out all the cool stuff. And the rest will get auctioned. Like, all these rings, I will sell the rings in a lot. The ones that I don't want to sell individually. Uh, stuff like this. This is a weird one. There's a, a maker's mark right there. D, whatever that means. Um, a lot of this stuff will just get scrapped. And I'll, uh, there's a refinery that I use. Or I might even try auctioning it off on eBay to see if... Because um, I've noticed that on eBay, you, you can't really buy things for that much less than scrap price. What's that worth gold, that'd be nice. Uh, I saw some more Tiffany in the picture, more than just those two, but I don't think you wanna watch me pick through it all. Is it right there? Yeah, that's it right there. So these two things, probably 60 bucks, maybe 80 bucks right there. Um, and the good thing about silver is when you scrap, you get paid in about a week. So a pretty fast turnaround, and I just pick out the, uh, the good stuff and then scrap the broken pieces of, I don't know, like 
but maybe that was a serving spoon. It says Elmwood, which is a silverware company. So uh, it's broken, but cool. It's all been roughly sorted. This is all the scrap. There's a lot of like necklaces in here and uh, like some things like this where it probably weighs, I don't know, half an ounce, 20 grams. And I'm not gonna get like 50 bucks for this. So I'll just put it in the scrap pile. You know, it looks kind of nice. Uh, what I also do, this is where I put like the beads and any of these um, lobster lobster clasps. But in here I've got a magnet. And so then I just do one last pass to see if there's anything that's, you know, it'll stick to the stuff that's not sterling silver. Like this. Somebody lied to me. So those are not sterling silver. Then we'll do that. Uh-oh, a lot of it's not. Oh, no. Okay, so these pieces are not sterling silver. Um, they're just metal, which is fine. You know, it weighs hardly anything. And then we'll go over, I guess, this, too, to make sure. Oh, maybe I shouldn't put it on my computer. Now I've got them all pulled out. We're gonna go over them with this magnet just to make sure that there's no sneakers trying to pass themselves off as sterling silver because sterling silver, as I'm sure you know, uh-oh, this one, oh dear. Maybe they used, like in the middle, I don't know, but I'm not gonna sell that as sterling silver because, uh, that's wrong to do. Same with this guy. So these two right here are not. We'll sell those in a different auction. Uh, the cool thing about all of this are these four pieces right here. All Tiffany. There was another little Tiffany um, lobster clasp, but I, I lost it. I don't know where it is. I, it got put in the scrap pile and those are only worth about five or seven dollars and I'm not going through the scrap pile again or for that much, uh, that little money, I mean. So, uh, here it is. I'm gonna auction these off. The way I'll sell this is everything like this. This ring doesn't seem especially unique to me. We'll put these in an auction and we'll auction them off and try and get about a buck 25 per gram. Uh, the charms, I'll probably list them all individually at between $12.95 and... This is actually an earring, but I'm going to take off that and sell as a charm. Um, between $12.95 and probably $19 or $29. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and then when they don't sell in a week or two, because usually if someone wants it, they've got a, a save search on eBay. I'm going to auction them off and we'll try and get about two bucks a gram, maybe more, for the charms like this Ankh right here. So this one is also pretty neat. I don't know if that's a government issued thing I can look it up it's uh I can't read it right now but I've got my little loop right here and I can uh, I wonder if I can just show you through the phone yeah I can so it looks like that says <laughs> this is harder than I thought it would be Coro maybe You tell me, what do you think about that? This is also pretty cool, a money clip. Max Sterling. So we'll clean these off. I've got, um, they're like abrasive cloths that take away the tarnish. Everything that's small like this, I will not sell individually. I'm just gonna auction it off right away. And uh, we'll take the majority of the scrap, I'd say probably three and a, or two and a half pounds worth everything else and just auction that off. I think I might do 100 gram lots just to see how that works out. Uh, and then I'll compare that to how much I get when I scrap it at a, at a refinery because I am curious if people will go over scrap price because they have been lately. It's been crazy. Mexico, 925. Yeah, rings like that I'll just sell um, in a big lot. Here's how it's shaken down. These will all be auctioned off in lots. My fingers are very dirty. I should have worn gloves. 
These will all be listed individually and then I'll probably auction them off. And then these are the things I wanna sell individually and I cleaned them up. That's why my fingers are so dirty. So the sterling silver Tiffany hearts, probably maybe 40 on those two, probably 120 bucks on the uh, there's four items total, I think, right? The two hearts, that one, and then the, oh, the Elsa Peretti uh, pendant. That might be more like 80, I don't remember. Uh, a cameo um, pendant. I don't know what that is. It looks interesting to me, and it doesn't look fake. Or it might be glass, but it doesn't look like plastic, so I don't really know. This is a really cool giant, like, thumb ring. Looks like it's uh, turquoise. And then the more interesting stuff. This, so this right here is a, is that a salad fork? I don't remember. Someone can tell me in the comments what kind of fork that is. Uh, on the back, it says 800, that's the silver content, and then star 76 PD. PD, I believe, means it's palladium coated, which kind of is, uh, is why it looks a little bit different than everything else. This giant chunky bangle, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't wanna scrap it. Uh, I bet it weighs, it says D right there, not really gonna be very helpful with uh, marking it. I bet it weighs like <laughs> two or three ounces. So I'm not gonna get, you know, I'd have to, I'd have to sell it for like 150 bucks to make it worth, worth my time. I don't know if we're gonna get that for it. And then this, you're looking at this saying, what is that for? Is that a, a drug spoon? No, it's not. I believe it's a salt spoon. It's either a salt spoon or a caviar spoon. I don't really know. Uh, the maker on back is Westmore and it's sterling silver. And usually anything this small is not going to be 800. It's going to be 925. Uh, because the reason they make it 800 besides cutting costs is it's sturdier. Uh, you know, pure silver is very malleable. And then these things, the other rings will just, I'll probably put them at 15 or 20 bucks and see what happens. And then same with these. So I got a list of stuff. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, <laughs> subscribe for how filthy my hands are. I got to wash these because <laughs> they're dirty. Uh, so give it a dirty thumbs up. Comment with what you want. And uh, if you want to bid on this stuff or buy it, I'll link to the auction below. See you guys later.